Next question is from Adam Kotzmeyer. In your experience, what's the most effective weekly caloric surplus when trying to put on weight and muscle? Mm. Weekly caloric surplus. Not uh, very much. Yeah, wow. You know what? It depends, right? It depends on the person, but I, I think Adam's 100% right. I used to think it was a huge surplus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First off, it depends on the person, okay? So if you're somebody with a really fast metabolism, you burn a lot of calories, you're going to need to eat a lot more calories to get a surplus than, than other people. But I would say... If you want to make sure that it's lean body mass, I wouldn't go above. I mean, 500 calories over your daily requirements is a pretty decent surplus. It's still pretty big. That'll ensure that you're gaining a decent amount of muscle with a good program. But you can even do it with like a 200 calorie. Yeah, I, I love the 250 to 500 range. The thing that comes with that, though, is the, the mental fuck. You just got to be ready for that because when you when you if you do it just right and you're hitting the sweet spot, you don't see a huge jump on the scale. So and and that's the hard part the about muscle doesn't pile on super fast. No, and 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 if you got good programming, there's a good chance you're also leaning out, so you could be losing body fat. So, you know, don't use the scale as your your main guide of you're doing a good job of gaining muscle. You could be doing a great job of gaining muscle but not really moving. In fact, that's my, I, if I know I'm on a new program, right? That's one of my favorite things. I switch a client that was just leaning out. Now we're switching over to a muscle building. When I switch to muscle building, I like to switch the stimulus. So I want a whole new program, whatever it was. It doesn't matter what we were following before. We're following something new. So it's a new stimulus. And now and in addition to that, I'm going to bump 200 to 500 calories to their diet and just let the let the programming and the good consistency of the diet do its work. And I'm not going to stress about the scale. Now, if I see the scale going down, that's an indicator I could definitely probably bump a few more calories in there. But if I stay about the same or see just a little bit of an increase on the scale, I know I'm probably right in that sweet spot. And I've found that falls somewhere around that 250, 500 to hit the sweet spot. Also, like Sal said, depending on the person, where I start to get in trouble uh, myself and anytime I've done this with clients is when I start pushing 1,000 calories yeah. and beyond. And the problem with that is that helps you mentally because when you're pushing 1,000 calories, you're going to put weight on. I mean, the extra carbs and calories, the water weight you're going to add, the probably the body fat that's going to come on with it, that's a little more motivating because you're going to get on the scale every week. Oh, I'm up two more pounds. Oh, I'm up two more pounds. And so you think you're in this, you're having great progress, but in ra reality, kind of like what we talked about before, you're starting to add body fat at just as high as a rate as you're putting muscle on. And in, ch and in fact, you'll end up having a higher body fat. Yeah. Percentage. Now, how do you mm. figure this out for yourself? Um, I would suggest you get yourself a, a food tracking app, track your food intake for the next couple of weeks. Don't change anything at all. And then just go 250 to 500 calories above that. Make sure your protein intake is high. So you want to aim for around one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So make sure that that's there first. Then when you add the extra calories, you can do it in the form of fat or carbohydrates. That's totally up to you. Some people do better with a higher fat diet. Some people do better with a higher carbohydrate diet. I gain more muscle when they're rough, generally balanced. If I go low carb, I tend to not get as great of a performance than with I have a, a decent amount of carbs. Not super high for me that tends to bother my gut, but 250 to 500 a day. By the way, this is an average. One thing we didn't say was it doesn't have to be 250 to 500 surplus every day. Right. In fact, I think it's better where some days are higher and other days are lower. So maybe mm. you have a 100 calorie surplus one day, the next day it's 600 calorie surplus, the next day it's 400 calorie. But overall for the whole week, you're averaging 250 to 500 more calories a day than you were eating before.